that Nuno inspired lick. <laughs> I posted that video on um, Instagram and Facebook and stuff a few days ago and a bunch of you said, hey, that kind of sounds like Nuno. In fact, somebody coined it Nuno-ish. So we're gonna call it Nuno-ish today. <laughs> and you guys were completely and utterly right. When I actually uh, did that solo, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was playing in that funky style because I just upgraded the pickups and the bridge on my strap and all the electronics and stuff like that. And it sounded great and I was doing this funky thing and then it was like, hey, I've been playing around with that lick. I should do a solo with it. <laughs> So there you go, it made it to that song. <laughs> and I love it. I really, really enjoy playing it. Now it is a variation on the tippity tappity thing that Nuno does on the extreme song, Get the Funk Out. And essentially, you know, I, I was learning that. I was learning to do the tapping. I kind of know where to do it. I've kind of forgotten as well. <laughs> Need to remember again. <laughs> but the uh, string skipping thing is something I do quite a lot of and I was playing around with the string skipping from uh, the G string to the E string and I was actually just going to do that and then it was like wait up a second there's one note missing and uh, it was the fundamental essentially so I went back and uh, made it essentially a major arpeggio very very cool to play I'm going to show you how to play it today yeah you're going to have fun doing this it's really simple <laughs> It's basically one pattern in like four different positions. So let me show you how to do this. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Let's do some Nuno ish. That lick, <laughs> that Nuno style arpeggio, it is so cool. Um, all right, before I show you this, I uh, just want to give a shout out to the gear that I'm using. Um, using my Red Stuff 1987 Fat Amp on the lead channel and the delay from the 1987 as well. Delay, 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 delay. <laughs> and also I am using this very, very cool um, T-Rex Diva Drive, um, just as a boost. Really, really excellent pedal. I'll do a video on it at some point. Um, just want to give a shout out to my buddy Tony at Olympus Music in Malta. That's where I purchased that from. I went on a secret vacation, which uh, nobody knows about until now. <laughs> well, some people knew about it, but anyways, I went on a secret vacation to Malta and um, went to Olympus Music, which is a very, very cool store. If you're ever in Malta and you want to buy guitar gear, just head over there and um, ask with Tony. Tell them Jay sent you. <laughs> and he'll be like, who's Jay? No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> but he's a really nice guy, super, super cool guy. And in fact, he is an incredible sitar player as well. So um, you can check out this band, which is called Cushion. It's um, his band and uh, he plays a uh, sitar on this entire album and it is very 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 cool very masala guitar anyways that's what i'm using so you want to see this lick this uh, very nuno bentoncourt inspired lick now um just to give you a bit of background um i picked up guitar in about 1989 i think which was um, at the time that um, porno graffiti had come out so get the funk out was like playing on mtv and vh1 and etc um, etc et I got the album it was majorly influential on me because it was such a cool album and he, he's just such a brilliant guitar player and just an incredibly melodic guitar player I didn't learn this back in the day because that was kind of you know learning George Lynch stuff but um, I always wanted to play this kind of you know the the tapping thing and I have learned it previously but you know it's fallen out of my head <laughs> I can probably do it again but when I was doing this solo I wanted to kind of make it my own thing now I'd already been playing around with the two st string arpeggio um, string skipping type of thing you know this thing. that type of thing um, for a long long time um, but when I tried to do that with just the two strings, it didn't quite work, and the fundamental was missing. <laughs> I 
needed that fundamental note in there. So um, I'll show you the lick in a second. I'm going to show you the rhythm that I played very, very, very quickly. So I actually start off on a G chord. Then I go to an A chord, just an A5 chord. Then I did a C7 sus2 chord. Then a D7 sus2 chord, which was just two frets up from the C. So that creates the rhythm. The da, 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 da. So basically it was very inspired by Get the Funk Out on that one. <laughs> All right, the lick itself. Um, it is a pretty simple pattern, as a straightforward pattern, I should say, rather than a simple pattern. Uh, executing is, it is a little bit tricky because, you know, just string noise management and stuff because you're doing string skipping. And it's um, played pretty quickly as well, as you saw. But what I did was, um, I first of all started on the fifth fret of the D string. Um, I played just that single note on this string, which is our fundamental. That's my G. Then um, I go to the G string and um, I pick up the four, hammer on to five and seven. Now how, how I do the picking between these two strings is just a down pick on the five on the D and then I just do a mini sweep. So I do another down pick on the four on the G string. Then I skip over the st string to the E string and on this string I pick at the third fret, hammer on to five and hammer on to seven. So that's our upward movement. So that's my entire kind of upward movement there. Um, five on the D string, four, five, seven on the G string, three, five, seven on the E string. And then I come back on myself. So what I do is uh, when I get to the seven on the E string, I actually pull back off to the five and then the three. So like this. So when I add that together, we get this. And then to end it, I, I skip over the uh, B string again, go to the G string, pick at the seven, pull off to five, and then pull off to four. And that's the entire lick. Now this makes up 12 notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the timing of this is actually in triplets. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Um, now the tricky thing about this is that the first three notes I play over the D string and the G string. One, two, three. The next three notes I actually play over the G string and the E string. So there's one note on the G string, two notes on the E string. And then the next three um, I do as a pull-off. So I'm going to be um, doing the uh, seven, five and three on the descent. And the fourth three is going to be on the G string. It's going to be seven, five and then four. So that was the tricky thing about executing this correctly, executing it at speed, executing it cleanly as well. So it took a little bit of practice, but hey, you know, got there. So that's the entire lick. So when you do try and do the timing for this, start thinking one, two, three, 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 and then progressively speed it up. Alrighty, that's the lick in the first position. Then what I did was I just shifted it up two frets. So now I'm going to do seven on the D string and then six, seven and nine on the G string and then five, seven, nine on the E string. So 
So that's the entire movement upwards for that one. Now, basically, when I tag these together, essentially, um, I have to tag it together from the ending of the first one, which is actually the fourth fret of the uh, G string, and then jump over to the seven on um, on the D string. So like this. So if I do this twice. That's the end of the first lick, and then I go over to seven. So I don't go back to the seven on the second time there, because at that point, when I come back to the uh, six on the G string, I'm gonna go up to the next position, which is gonna be at the 10th fret of the D string. So this time I'm gonna do 10 on the D, nine, 10, 12 on the G, and then 8, 10, 12 on the E string. And then the final one, I'm moving up to the 12th fret of the uh, D string. So I'll do 12 on the D, then 11, 12, uh, 14 on the G, and then 10, 12, 14, on the E string and then back again. And then right at the end, I just uh, bent the 15th fret of the B string up a whole step and did some vibrato on it. Just going back to my root note, um, I'd written the song in E, I think. So um, I went back to the E. <laughs> And that was the end of that sequence. So when I clip all of that together, slowly this is what we get. And that's the whole of the lick. Now, just before I go, quick note about my picking. Um, across the strings, basically what I'm doing is on the D string and the G string, like I said, mini sweep, down picks. Then I down pick the E string as well. Then when I get to the G string, I do an up pick. And I do that over all of the positions. So it's a down on the D, down on the G, down on the E string as well. And then when I come back to the G, I'm doing an up pick. So there you go guys, there is that Nuno-ish lick for you, which uh, I love playing, I love playing that solo. I'm going to show you the whole of the solo that I did with that strap, because it's really funky. It's kind of, you know, got some real cool bounce to it, and the pickups just sounded amazing on it. It played really, really beautifully well, and yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to create those sounds with it. Yeah! So there you go, hope you enjoyed that. Quick shout out for these guys who are my Patreon patrons. They are awesome because they um, support the channel every single month and I wanna give them a shout out and say a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of those guys for supporting the channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so by heading over to Patreon and um, checking out all of the, uh, the perks and the deals that I have. Starts at just one buck per month, which is awesomeness and you get all sorts of behind the scenes stuff which uh, a lot of people don't get to see. Just my patrons get to see. Yeah. There's some enticement for you. <laughs> and there are all sorts of perks available at the various tiers, like um, album downloads and one-to-one -one sessions with me and stuff. So please do go and check it out. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, please do give it a thumbs up as well and share it on social media. It is much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed that. I shall be back for more really, 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 really soon. Not tomorrow, but really soon. All right, guys, have a fantastic day and break out that album. Break out Porno Graffiti, spin it again. Such an awesome album. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna go and get my copy of Point of Feet and listen to it again. Because it's awesomeness. Awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Enjoy that. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs>